part managed to keep the bulk of the team together after they stumbled in the playoffs last season. That's helped them this season definitely to kick on again. Yeah, you know, people may be thinking, but the reality is, I, I said this, I said this in an interview to somebody of late, that football is a game now where, you know, instant success is required. You know, if there's not instant success, there has to be change, there has to be all of those aspects. The reality of football is all the success stories and the study over all the European leagues over the last seven years will tell you that stability of squad and stability of staff are key elements to success. They just don't make good stories. So that's the reality of the situation. So it's going to take time here. Uh, I've said that already that I'm seeing improvements in certain areas. I've seen great improvements in players, but we are where we are just now. And hopefully in time we'll progress, hopefully in time we'll, we'll continue to improve. And I want to be part of that. I want to be part of this club moving forward, developing a team that eventually gets promotion and gets promotion again. That's what I want from this team. But it'll not happen overnight, but I'll work tirelessly towards that. And hopefully, uh, we'll get our rewards. Well, they have. You've already mentioned it. February since they were last beaten at home in the league. It's it's an unbelievable record. It's a great record from a manager that's done a terrific job there, um, and they've got a clear way of playing. And you know, when you go to play Newport, they're not going to do anything that's going to surprise you, but they're very effective at what they do, and um, they ask the real basics of defending from you, and. They're very effective at it and, you know, he, he deserves credit for that. Um, so it'll be a, a huge test for our players, but one that I think we've got to show the answers to. You know, there's elements that I can support the players with, the tactical certain things and certain small details that we worked on today that I think can really help improve us in that performance. But ultimately, the players will have to stand up to the game at the weekend. They'll have to stand up to those moments and... Uh, that's that's going to be the challenge for them. I mean, you've said it there, the likes of Amond and Jamil Mart, they don't change the way they play. Does that help in the way you prepare? Or is it a fact of these players are, are good, so you've got to be concentrating for 90 minutes? Yeah, but they continue to test you. They'll put it into your box, they'll put it into your box from free kicks, they'll put it into your box from throw-ins, they'll put it into your box from corners. They continuously ask questions of you. And you've got to answer those questions. You have got to do the basics of football um, to get a result there. The game itself, in terms of when you play Newport, there's more variables about the type of game it is. It's not such an easy game in terms of being able to tactically prepare. Although you can prepare them tactically, the game will come down to the basics. You know, when you play the likes of Forest Green and these types of teams, the game's more pure. As you go up the levels, the game's more pure. It becomes more predictable, more tactical. But this is a game where they'll say to you, can you deal with us? And we have to find the answer.